Well, I'd like to train the military if they wanted to grab all their gear. I know I was having a bit of an issue with lumbas. I guess there's a few trees we can probably chop down out front. You know what? There's actually lumber laying out here. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forbid it, though. Claim this ship real quick. There's a lot of lumber I left out here, to be honest. I just, I just need more lumbers, man. That's the issue. Don't worry about chopping those trees down. Just grab that lumber outside. Yeah, we should be all right. And our bedrooms are ready to go now too. Great. I'll be trolling your page is fucking trolling my goddamn log. The Ciaro house, Jack, blah blah blah. All the new douchebags. Fuck off, dwarfs. Choose a room. Go jack off. Nobody cares. It's almost enough room, is actually. If not, then enough. And Jesus Christ, Plump, look at that fucking mess. Look at that mess. Look at what you're doing here. Now Zappo withdraws from society. And he takes a craft store workshop. Good for you, buddy. Let's get back to making brew. Look at that rainbow of colors in that lumber yard. Now we're down to 51 drinks. Oh, plump helmet farms. Purr, 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 purr. Obviously, we don't have any fucking hops. Oh, well, we probably will once we get back to brewing. It's been a while since we had to do uh, much of that. So I have one person in the hospital, which would be Spool. Broken shoulders. Awesome. Zappo begins mysterious construction using two pieces of microcline and some granite. Redbeard, he's the uh, chief medical door from pretty certain. Barely certain. And the Durham caravan shows up. Awesome. Apparently not. And we gotta take care of our mare now, which is Shadow Dementia.
Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just Sage. Yeah, it is. Sage is the uh, chief medical dwarf. Redbeard, Redbeard, you are in charge of <sighs> putting your hands on them bones, I guess, and crunching them back into place. And El Zappo creates a microcline scepter. Flanked name, 4,800 dwarf bucks. It's a sad, sad, lonely microcline scepter with simple spikes of microcline and granite. Oh boy. El Zappo. El Zappo be trolling too. Oh yeah. Now I remember. I was sitting here thinking like, oh yeah. Fuck is it trade with? We still no, we're still cutting still cutting away like a bunch of emo douchebags we got some hunters we need to tell to fuck off and some more fisher dwarfs we got to look at those um, well Fat Goat and Rogog look like only gym guys. I guess our last gym guy got recruited and or killed, which is always awesome. Jesus Christ, I don't understand why so many things are enabled so often. And you get migrants now. Why? need any of these fucking jobs that goat and rogog we knew our, our new jewelers <clears throat> then we couldn't forge the anvil because we uh, and a vile force of darkness has arrived. Awesome. <clears throat> what do you think? Actually, now that I think about it, I'm <clears throat> fairly certain that this is our first siege. And oh my god, I forgot all them fucking corpses laying around outside. Son of a bitch. I th yeah, I'm pretty sure I already got the... Uh, all the slabs and everything done for him. Unit list. Well, there's actually not that many of them, to be entirely honest. Wait, do we have a ghost? <laughs> yes, we have a ghost. It's a ghostly recruit. Ooh. Let's get everybody on the surface right here. We're going to protect these fucking traitors. the soldiers at there's one schmanzo of course the center greenest guys out first oh who's that shadow assassin who is quite ferocious in an arox starved to death probably because I forgot to put it in a goddamn there they are probably because I forgot to put it in a goddamn um pasture what's their leader riding a deep ohm Should have more than enough time to get everybody on the surface and uh what the fuck are they doing? Where are you going? Stay where I told you to. Sons of bitches. Now they run I was about to say they ran back inside. What are you doing? <laughs> There's a reason your soldiers! Schmanzo standing outside by himself again. No, he's running towards... What the fuck are you doing? No! Where the fuck is he going? Schmanzo, that is not helpful. Oh, boy. Well, this is going to get interesting. Dorks, man. Uh, he's probably going to spot them first. Great Axe Dwarf. 
great shield user, competent armor user, legendary fighter. It's only a novice dodger, though. That's not going to fucking help out. And he jumps in the battle first. I think he threw a rock and hit somebody. There's a bunch of dwarves up, just standing up there. For some reason, some of them are just straggling off. Who is that? Goleslaw, Pionardon, and Dual Jackbon. All of them decent fighters. Let's see, Darksman. Let's see, strikes one of them with a rock in the upper body. Charges and smacks him in the lower body with the flat of her bronze grazed axe, bruising the muscle and bruising the pancreas. Let's do a few steps. Oh, I see a body part already. So he hacks at the merfolk in the left lower arm, taking the arm off. Get out of here, merfolk! You're not supposed to be on land, you bastards! Everybody's just kind of standing up there. Now they're coming down there. Well, it looks like uh, Dork's man's trying to go to be a hero, or going to try to be a hero today. Yeah, he's already been hit a few times. Let's see. He gets stabbed in the left foot, but it's deflected by his copper boot. He kicks a merfolk in the left upper leg with the left foot, breaking the bone. Uh, let's see, he gets struck in the hand um, with a kite shield, but his gauntlet deflects it. He acts a, uh, a merfolk in the head, shattering the skull, so he gets one kill. And he gets slashed in his lower arms, deflected, uh, blocks a strike, dodges another. Oh boy. He's in trouble if those guys don't get down there soon. But it looks like he's fucking not doing too bad. He must have really good armor wearing. Let's see. Yeah, he hacks at one in the right lower arm, cutting it off, and punches a merfolk in the left lower arm, bruising the bone. Dodges a bunch of uh, attacks and deflects one with his armor. Her armor. Her my derp. Yeah, competent armor user. That's fucking saving her. And now she's in a martial trance. Martial trance. Deflected. It's the next page. Hex at one in the left upper leg, cutting it off. Cuts off another arm. Dodging all sorts of attacks. And they're running. Some of them are. Dork's man still fighting. No injuries. He's spending most of his time just dodging attacks because there's so many of them. Trying to swing at him. Coleslaw comes in throwing rocks. Hey, everybody's getting a little bit of action. Distract enough of them some, so uh, Dork's man can get some more cuts. Cuts one in the body, cutting through their spleen, then hacks another in the arm, cutting it off. Punches one in the foot, bruising the bone. Good old Jack Bod. Let's see, he's just fucking dodging attacks now. Coleslaw. Headbutts of fucking merfolk in the right foot, shattering the bone. <clears throat> then stabs one in the right foot, cutting it off. Somebody did end up getting injured. Let's see, Doodle Jackbot stabs the ohm in the leg, breaking it. Let's see. He punches the merfolk in the uh, lower leg, bruising the bone. He slashes out another, tearing uh, muscle in the lower body, tearing apart their kidney. He slashes that one in the foot, tearing the muscle. Pionard comes out. He slaps one in the foot with his bronze short sword, shattering the bone. He cuts off an arm and a leg, and then another leg. 
and stabs one in the lung. Dorks, man. Oh, shit. Merfolk slashes at Dorksman the left hand from behind with her co cobalt shore sword and cuts his hand off. No! Dorksman lost his copper kite shield and his uh, gauntlet, but he still got his weapon with him. So Dorksman just became an amputee. Coleslaw. And they run. Yeah, there goes uh, Dorks, man. Running around, missing his fucking hand. He'll be alright. Alright, go back. Go back to training. <laughs> the fuck? God damn that recruit. He's like, I want to trade with you guys. Come on, let me at him. Let me at him. Well, since those uh, new guys are so quote unquote green when it comes to cutting gems, we might not be able to use too many of them. So we'll just um, see what kind of crafts we do have. It's going to take them a while because, yeah, they got a lot to cut through. I'm sweating. Spool. Oh, spool's up. Nice. Right foot is gone or left lower arm is gone. So I'm missing an arm and a leg. An arm and a foot. Spool uh. Spools up and around, I guess. Okay, John doesn't have any fucking gauntlets. God damn it, John, do you want to move, lose your hands just like these two? Still in the fucking military. <laughs> I guess he doesn't have them. I fucked that up. My bad. Gauntlet. Oh, that's that's rich. Oh god damn it! No, not anyone. <laughs> You idiot. You idiot. Yes, trade, trade a depot. Oh yeah, I forgot we had a shitload of clothes to trade. bunch of silver stuff. I only get to the trade and the silver stuff when we absolutely need to. Now let's go ahead and put all the clothes up though. Basically all the shit we got from them fucking <clears throat> them dwarfs. Them dwarfs. Where are the goddamn dwarfs? The mouths. <laughs> Quote unquote bird cage. Okay. Sure. Utility spider. Fuck yeah. The salamander. Sure. <clears throat> nah, it's a fucking tiny animal. Get a bunch of barrels and stuff. 
With some tequilas and sewer brews. Fuck yeah. Some buckets. Because fuck it. Now we'll get the iron trait of the iron, iron armor. Hurt my dura a little bit. Don't really look to buy any armor unless it's high quality material. I'll get a couple chests though, some cheaper ones. Guy's got a lot of stuff. Thank you for the anvils. Douchebags. What all their produce though? More seeds for us, please. Got a bunch of fur and some silk. I'm gonna grab that silk. Oh, well, that's all thread anyways. I want all that thread. Alright, so that's still, even with everything I wanted, that still leaves us with quite a bit of money. Quite a few goods to keep, at least. One seventy one. Yes, they'll trade it for one seventy one. Excellent. Okay, John. You got your gauntlet. <laughs> Just double checking here. Okay, so we did get both gauntlets. All right then. All righty then. Let's do some training. No, I don't want to link it up with the fucking bridge. She to pull the fuck out of that lever, see? Fuck them up, see? Oh, what the hell? Two of them changing their. Unhappy. Shimanzo just got licked. And so did John. Both of them did. Yay! <laughs> now get the fuck out of the training room! You pussies. <laughs> Only two of them stayed back in. Doodle Jack and uh, Shadow Assassin. We'll let them train. Old dorks man without a hand once in. Come on in, buddy. He's like, sure. I'll take my tween. That was in careful and watch. People can pretty much enter anytime they want. Like, alright, that's somebody who needed it. Fat goat. Now we're getting the uh, green guys in here to train.
That goat's starting to get tired. Dork's man is still in faint, but he's alright. Another new trainee. Not another new trainee, but a trainee. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! There's somebody's pet. We might want to uh, cancel this. <laughs> somebody's bat wing just got fucked. Strikes in the arm, bruise, 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 bruise. Bruise its guts. It should be okay though. That's a lot of bruising, but it should be alright. Go no dorks, man. <laughs> With only one hand, he shall continue to fight. It's proficient dodger now, which would have saved him before. Yeah, we'll let him rest for a while. No reason to keep pushing him like that. What's our bruise situation like? 154. That's good. Lots more lumbers. I'm going to make a bunch more charcoal because I know we're going to have an issue with it before too long. Um, I don't see any extra beds waiting. more rock tables, thrones, and doors. Always use more of all of those. Um, we also want a couple, well, at least one more metal smith's forge. Yeah. See how far miners are. I wonder if they finished this room. Hey, they finished it. Awesome. We can get back to other digging projects. We'll see what other sorts of minerals we can find. What other uh, trouble we can get into, at least. Still cutting them fucking gems. Also, see about getting us another uh, gym cutters workshop too. What's that? What is that? That's your hydrant.
And we also, we should have some flamethrowers built now, right? Could have sworn me we made some of those mounts. And I'm pretty sure that they go on those um, utility spiders as well, which will be awesome. Forbidden. We're going to actually take care of some stuff on the surface real quick. We'll go ahead and station our military outside. We're stationed. Yeah. Okay. Now with their power levels, I actually feel pretty self safe uh, allowing everybody else come up to the surface to begin collecting uh, all this stuff, I guess. Farewell, merchants. Uh, shall see you another year. It looks like uh, they're even splitting up. Everybody's a little too busy to even go after that stuff. Just another jeweler's workshop. We'll start encrusting items. I don't even think we're supposed to be doing that with the bloodstone, but that's alright. I know how to get that shit back. We're gonna have to start um, sacrificing some of our doors at some point, too. Make them a little bit emo and cut themselves even. soldiers I think we need to focus on getting um I should have did that with that uh, caravan that passed through but we need more um, water skins and backpacks so they can carry around foods and their own drinks of course <laughs> 